Hello. It's day 28 of the 30 day sketching challenge. I'm going to be carrying on with that isometric masterclass. So again, I'm going to be using the creating technique and we're going to be using that to draw some um, different shapes. So I've got two cubes and a cuboid here that I've already drawn in isometric. I'm going in and I'm drawing it our hidden lines. So if I was to look at this uh, cube or cuboid, if it was to be made of glass and I could see through it, then which other edges would I see? And I'm drawing those in. So you want to draw the same shapes. You want two cubes and a cuboid. And we're going to use these to draw in some 3D shapes. Now we're going to start off with uh, a cone. So this bottom face here of our cube, I'm going to draw in an ellipse. So remember that an ellipse is an oval. And you can see that I'm using that sort of diamond shape to, to guide that ellipse. Now, if a cone was to come up to this top face, the point of it would be right in the center of that top face there. So I'm then just joining the edges of my ellipse to that dot that I've drawn in the center of the top face. So you're kind of imagining where the cone would be situated if it was inside that crate or that box. So now I'm just going to go around my edges in a fine liner. Now remember you wouldn't see that um, other part of the ellipse if that was a solid object. So you're only going around the lines that you would see if it was a solid object, just like we did in the last two videos. Now this one I'm going to do a square base pyramid. So obviously the bottom of the shape is going to be square. And obviously it goes into a pyramid, it goes up to a point. So I've drawn a point in the middle of that top face and then I'm just joining the edges to each of the corners like that and then I go around it in my fine liner pen again only the edges that you would see if this was a solid object like that and lastly I'm going to do kind of a similar shape as what we did in the last video but I'm putting the arcs on the other planes. So we did them on the top and the bottom um, faces or planes of this shape yesterday. Today we're going to do them on the other side. So you can see that I'm drawing a big arc. Now I've gone a little bit wrong here. You can see that I've not got the edge of the arc to touch that other side. You've got to be really careful in making sure that your sides are mirrored. So I've just drawn this little line here so you can see that where the arc touches on one side, it's got to touch on the other side at the same level to make this symmetrical. So again, I'm going to try and draw the exact same thing now. I'm just drawing that line to make sure that I really touch that edge. There we go. So the exact same arc on that other face. Join them up. And then fine line. To make sure 
that you're doing only the edges you'd see if it was a solid object. Then you can go around and rub out all your guidelines. then you'll be left with just your 3D shapes like that. You can shade these, go on and shade them, make them look more 3D. So have a go at those.